Good afternoon, folks. Welcome back. It's Saturday, non-league to Premier League. Today could well be our day that we make it into the league, folks. Or it could be the day that we get sucked. <laughs> it's a close one. Right, as you know, our run of form was absolutely horrific and we finished them with a 1-1 draw at Swansea. So we are hoping, we are going to have at least two matches on the game today. Hoping, obviously, that we get free and promoted to the Premier League. But it's going to be a tough one. We're at home in the first leg to Huddersfield. So let's have a look, shall we? Our form against Huddersfield, as you can see here, has been abysmal in the past. And we're in woeful form. So it's not really looking very promising for us at all. Right, so where are we today? We have got people injured, have we not? We've got Gomez back out on the right. Callum Slattery is still injured, which is really annoying. Um, not too many fitness problems, in fairness. Reese Cole lately has been awful as well, by the way. Uh, we're going to bring in Jackie Rolls. Okay, maybe we're not. We are. Just in that position. We're going to actually turn him into a shadow striker where he's a bit more of a natural talent there. And we're obviously going to cross our fingers and hope for the best. Um, this is the best squad I think that we can go with. So we're going to start with Balcom, Henry, Bedia Shield, Pinnock and Calavera at the back. Cole and Traore in the midfield. Watkins, Rolls and Gomez then in the front three behind Villa La Libra. Uh, no space today for David Allison in the team. Again, he's dropped off form-wise. And we just, we need people to turn up today. We really do. Um, the likes of Cole, Ollie Watkins, Gomez. I mean, if Gomez has a good game, we could finish this, like, we could finish this fixture before it even really begins. But we need a little bit of luck, folks. So I am going to ask you to all cross your fingers, cross your eyes, cross your toes. And let's get into the game. We are going to say today, passionately, oh no, passionately. Um, go out there and give these fans their money's worth. I've got faith in you to go and make a difference. Let's go. Tunnel interviews. Uh, I'm going to send the assistant for those. We just want to get into the game and hopefully get the result that we're all looking for. Five minutes in. First highlight is going to Huddersfield. Ramadan takes it down nicely. Finds Schneidler on his right hand side. Back into Ramadan and that's a good collection by Balcom. Actually, offside would have been a free kick, would have been a corner kick otherwise. Playing it out from the back, Bidia Shield. Henry plays it to Cole. To Wally Watkins. Goes over the top for what, uh, for Gomez, who does get the ball. Don't shoot from there, please. Unfortunately, that's exactly what Gomez does do. Ten minutes in, a shot each. Not really an awful lot going on. Got control of the possession, but we're not not really dominant in the game at the minute. Traore now finds Gomez. Who charges forward. Tried to play it to Rolls, but Rolls was not expecting the pass. Manning now on the right hand side. And they got Daly to Munz. Out wide to Schneidler. Schindler, should I say. Pinnock clears it only as far as Adrian and that was well struck and we are again just not really getting into them I'm going to drop to a positive mentality I am going to say show some passion we we need a good home leg and it's not looking very good for us we are currently being dominated really Schindler again now on this right hand side goes past Omri to Ramadan finds Munz Tries to chip it over the top. Oh my god. Terrible defending. Ericsson across to Ramadan. And finds him again. And Ericsson. And that's a great save. And we are all at sixes and sevens. And our woeful form continues. And it's got to be said. That we are looking like a team. Who was really pushing for. Promotion in quite a convincing way. To just. Awful. Like you. It's like the team's not even there. We're going to demand more for the last 10 minutes of the first half. Calavera finds Traore with the throw. Back to Calavera. Gets the ball in. Ollie Watkins is taking up the pass, but it gets cleared to Henry. 
Again, we don't get anything done from it. A big ball over the top is expected here, but Gomez intercepts only as far as Adrian. Ericsson launches it for Munns. Buddy Ashill knocks it down for Pinnock, though. Highlight does continue, so it could be one in our way. No, Sh Schindler's there. Ramadan to Schindler again. Back to Ramadan. Sandler now in the middle, and Adrian. Forces it out wide, and Calavera again with a really poor clearance. Buddy Ashill mops it up for him, though. Let's Angel Gomez get on the ball, who's charging forwards. He's got support. He's probably going to go for goal, because that's what he does. Pass the ball. So infuriating. Gets into the right spaces, and then just nothing. At the moment, we are very much second best in this game. We really are. Uh, got, who was it on 6.4? Jack Rolls. Right, so Jack Rolls is going to come off. We're going to bring, I guess, Pecola on. Uh, we are going to assertively say I'm far from pleased with what I just saw. And then tactically, we're going to switch Gomez into the centre. Watkins out onto the right. Pecola out onto the left. Uh, attacking midfield or attack. Do we actually make him an advanced? We might make him an advanced playmaker here, I think. Calavera scares me there. He really does. Uh, we're going to change him into just a central defender as well. Start the second half and hope that we, we get off a little bit better. Long ball over the top again. Badia Shields there. Cole launches it forward for Villa La Libra. First chance for him today. And oh, that's a fantastic save. Here we go. And then from the corner, Henry's going to take it. Launches it in nicely. It goes all the way over the top. Gomez does collect, so it could still be ours. Ball's cleared. Nobody's going for it, and that was such a waste. feel like if we don't take at least a 2-0 lead to Huddersfield, that we're in trouble. Ericsson here now, charging down on goal. Balcom does get there. Oh, my word. And the second time, just gets a hand to it. And we're playing silly beggars a little bit here at the back now. Cole with the ball. We're going to just ask the lads to get a little creative, see what we can come up with. And as we say that, they get a corner. Balcom does come and collect the ball nicely, though. It goes out wide, and here's Bacola now. Goes inside his man, please. Oh, the finish is poor. Really nice move. But very, very poor finish. Baddy Ashiel here now brings it forward. Emery on the left. Plays it inside to Gomez. Launches it out to Bacola. Can't get it. Henry does pick it up though. Plays it inside to Cole. Cole back to Traore. Out wide for Ollie Watkins who's on his own. A poor effort of goal. It really is. You've got to say folks. It's really not looking promising for us here. This was, this was I think our best shot. Of putting this tie to bed. Um, if we go to Huddersfield. There's a good chance that we're going to lose. And we're going to lose anyway. Potentially because Ryan Manning just scored a lovely strike. Into the bottom right hand corner. Nobody on him whatsoever. And that is very disappointing. We've said it quite a few times. In the last couple of games. But my oh my. I mean daily season. Makes a beautiful pass. And just lovely finish. Keeper at sixes and sevens, defence at sixes and sevens, and everybody there really annoy me. Daly now with the ball to Sandler. Schindler gets it in and Balcom's there to collect. I think we might have to do something a little bit unorthodox here. I really do. Traore, Betty Ashiel. All the way back to Balcom. Can we get the ball forward? Just get it out of our own. Oh, we're time wasting like we're winning here. Finds Ali Watkins to Traore. Knocks it forward for Villa Libra. I actually thought it was offside. Obviously not. Plays it back to Watkins though. Down the right here. Delivery's poor, but Calavera picks it up. Can he get it past his man? He can. And Gomez! Oh! And that was just nearly such a great flash of magic by Andre Gomez there. Angel Gomez. Henry with the corner. Can we get back on level terms at least? No, because Pinnock puts it way over the bar. Ah, oh, right, tactics then, we're going to mix it up. We are going to go for the 4-4-2. Gomez is going to come out for Watkins. 
going to set him still as an inside forward. Or do we? Do we give Pakola a chance up front? I think we do. We move it there. I'm going to bring Brandon Williams on for Calavera because he's actually scaring me at the moment with that yellow card. And I think we may. Traore has not played brilliant. I think Gomez has not played brilliant. Nobody's really playing fantastic. But we are. We're going to take Traore off. We're going to bring in David Allison. We're going to plot him as a deep line playmaker as well. He's got great, great vision. Uh, and we're also... Boom. I was going to change the way that we're actually playing. Then it wouldn't let me. Gomez, though. Oh, Traore knocks it out beautifully for Ollie Watkins. Floats it over. Ball's only cleared as far as uh, Cole, who finds Pacola, who finds Henry. What's he doing, Henry? Come on, get a ball in. Play it back. Don't run into... Oh, he's just, oh, he does. He gets the ball in. Watkins. It's a penalty. Not quite sure what the penalty was for, but we'll take it. Villa La Libra steps up. Big opportunity for us here. Oh, my word. And it's a terrible penalty and an even worse attempt at a save by Henderson. So soft, down the middle, and the keeper, rather than collecting it, tries to dive, left-handed. And if it had just stood where he was, it's an easy save. And that, for us, is uh, that's got to be a wake-up call. We are going to focus play through the middle, work the ball into the box, possibly a little bit more direct, and we're going to play with a higher tempo. We want this now. Adrian whips in the free kick. Oh my God, Adrian's ball can miss it. What is going on? What an absolute idiot. You're getting sold in the summer. Sold in the summer. You're getting sold in the summer. What is that? And that is not what you want from your number one. That's so, so disappointing. Williams now finds Gomez. Oh... To David Allison. He's going to play it back out wide to Gomez. Again, can't get his crossing. Williams. Brandon, come on, lad. Nothing. Daly brings the ball forward after a poor attempt. Grant now. He's got people in front. Can't find the pass. Does go past Pinnock, though. He actually manages to get through. Back to Manning. Ball over the top, and that should have been free. And the game tied up right there. We get out of jail free. But my God. God, we're making hard work of everything. Holly Watkins on a 6.0. We're just terrible. We really are terrible lately. Stats say that we haven't played too badly, but when you look at everything, I mean, we are just absolute doggo. I am far from pleased with that result. We've obviously got a few days now, folks, before we go in. But that, I mean, what, what do you think there? We're going to attend the press conference. I'm sorry, this is going to be a slightly longer episode. We knew that coming in. Um, I'd like to apologise to the fans. How do you think... Uh, I'm not bothered about that, really. You're sort of against... I uh, hope the lads can keep their heads up. Football's a combative game. Don't want to come on individual performances. We've been trying. Right, I don't know what to do now going into this next game. Honestly, I'm, I'm at a loss for words with how we fell off. We should have been going for an automatic promotion. Instead, we barely clung on to our, our playoff spot. And it was only purely on goal difference and the head-to-heads that we kept it. Because we had the same goal difference, I think, as it was Nottingham Forest. But we was better in the head-to-head. -head. We're just playing awful. So, how do we mix it up for this game? We we need a result now. 1-0 win away from home is going to be enough to obviously take it into extra time. But I'd, I'd realistically love to see us win just a little bit more comfortably now. I mean, we're just... just Honestly, my heart's breaking tears here, man. Like, we've had such a good season. And the final month of the season, there was a point where we didn't think that we was even going to get into the playoffs, that we was going to get sacked beforehand. Managed to turn it around. Fantastic run of form. Um, and then it's all just fell off. 
really is really has fell off the wheels come off completely and I am going to see if I can get into the dynamics of the squad a team meeting assertively say just don't let our heads drop that's what we want let's try and get a bit of morale now before the game comes in now I am going to make some changes today Ollie Watkins again really poor uh, I'm going to bring Brandon Williams back into the squad full full time as well. So this this is where we're going to go with things. Show you now once we get into the actual thing. I do apologise again for the the slight delay, but I thought we'd do it all in one big go. Brentford owner quashes links with a consortium, so we're not going to get bought out. Uh, they have now won five of the last. So today we are going to bring out. Emery comes out for Brandon Williams, uh, who is going to be a wing back attacking. We like that. Trey Ore is going to come out for David Allison, uh, who's not a box to box midfielder. He's going to be the deep line playmaker on support. And then Rolls is going to come out for. Did we bring in Callum Slattery? I mean, he's played awful lately. Hmm. We'll give Slattery a go. We'll see how he gets on. Watkins, I really don't want to stick with. He's been poor. Bacola's not been much better, if truth be told. Um, and that's the 11 we're going to go with then, folks. We've got Balcom, Williams, Buddy Ashield, Pinnock, Calavera, Cole, Allison, Bacola, Slattery, Gomez and Villa La Libra. Putting faith in a few of the younger boys today. A um, couple of the senior players just not there. We really need this. They're playing very, very defensively now. Jesus. Uh, I am going to say that there is no pressure on you today. We're the underdogs. We're going to again send the assistant. We're hoping that we can get a result here now. Like If we can get an early goal, it's going to make us massive favourites for this game. Ten minutes in though, no highlights. The clock's ticking down already. Coming up towards the 20 minute mark. Two players already on yellow cards. Calavera with the throw into Bacola. Finds Cole. And Brandon Williams now plays it back to Cole. Really nice interplay. Slattery to Williams to Calavera. Cole back to Calavera. Launches the ball in. Gets as far out as there. But Calavera is so far out of position. And Pinnock now trying to keep up with Mbenza. Can't. And he's on a yellow card. And that is 1-0. And now we have got the world to do here. Looks like we started quite nicely. I mean, we've, we've been on the ascendancy in terms of possession and shots, but that's not what matters. And I am going to say, show show a bit of passion, boys. Need a goal before half-time to stand any chance. I think we've well and truly flipped this season up. I really do. Seven shots on goal, one shot on target, no highlights. St. Benz brings the ball in. Calavera does get a challenge in now. Brandon Williams launches it forward. Villa Libra knocks it down for Bacola. Brings it down the left side. Plays it back to Cole. Out wide for Gomez. And Gomez does collect the ball. That's really nicely taken. Goes past his man. And Angel Gomez into the side netting. And you can't help but think that we deserved a little bit of luck there. We really did. Again. Better team. By a little bit. Not by a lot. And in fact, Huddersfield with a team doing the pressing there in the end of the second half. Aggressively show me something else. I see a Villa Libra not interested whatsoever. So we're going to do something a little bit unorthodox here. We're going to put Ollie Watkins up front. Need to change some of these players. Alisson we're going to bring out for... Oh, I didn't really want to bring on Traore. Oh. Pinnock having a good game, but oh man, oh man, oh man, we're in such trouble here. That's it, folks. I think it's the, the beginning of the end for us here. As Pritchard gets the corner in, and out we take it. Cole launches it forward. Watkins does get on the ball, he's obviously got fresh legs now, got lots of space to run into. Looks for Callum Slattery, finds him, goes past his man, and what a poor finish by Callum Slattery. You would expect more from the former Tottenham youngster. And not to be yet again. 
Demand more out of the lads. Come on, get forward. Very attacking. And we are going to shout as soon as we can get forward. Calavera plays it to Slattery. Bacola. Cole. Plays it over the top. Gomez can't get there. He's intercepted. Diakabi now moves it forward to Romanchuk. Diakabi is there again. Manning now on the ball. Plays it inside to Sandler. Oh my word. It's terrible. It's the worst news we could have had. And that is all the dream over. We don't deserve to be in the final. It's got to be said. We have just completely, the wheels have just completely fell off here at Brentford. I, I'm obviously got some stuff to do in the summer. What kind of a budget and things we're going to have, I don't know. There are going to be players moved on. So we'll bring that in the next episode. But I am so disappointed, folks, this season not to be bringing you the Premier League promotion because I genuinely thought we deserved it. I thought we was there. And it just, just the last month has been horrific and we haven't been able to stop the rot. And I've, I've not even tried really in this game, as you can see, because I come into this kind of knowing that with the form we're in, we weren't going to get anything. But you always kind of hope a little bit, don't you, against it all. We need a new goalkeeper. We need... We need some more creative players. Maybe a little bit of experience might be what we're lacking now because we're playing so many youngsters. But we should have done better. This last last part of the season, we really should have done better. And we've just not turned up at all. And you've got to say, if you were a Brentford fan, you would be absolutely fuming with the way that the end of this season has gone. If I was a Brentford fan, I'd probably be calling for my head on a chopping, chopping block. Couldn't blame them if that's what they do. Obviously, we don't really want to be going into the summer with no job. But I think there is quite a high possibility that that's what might happen. I mean, we qualified for the playoffs, which is what they wanted us to do. And, oh, nearly floated into the back post again there. Balcom not looking convincing at all. And we're not, we're not even going to speak to the team here. We, we are just absolutely disgruntled with life at the moment at Brentford obviously they go through well played to Huddersfield I hope that they get a, a good run out of things um, I thought we were awful and easily second best a good strike um, other than ourselves because we've tried I don't know what happens here now just click continue one time to see if the board actually make anything happen or whether we're going to stick around. We have got no no, um, no words off the board, so obviously they're not too upset with things. If we go into our club vision, we did meet what we needed. We made it. We failed in the uh, FA Cup and the Carabao Cup, but we weren't really too bothered about those. So we'll see how we go. Um, inducted into the best 11. That's our overall that's the end of season awards. And our initial budget set at 9 million, which is pretty woeful. Um, I'm going to go through the end of season awards and obviously all the transfers on Monday. Thank you very much for the support. Apologise that it's been a long one and a very disappointing one. Obviously, two defeats back to back is not what we want, but that's the situation we're in, guys. I can't help it. We are going to turn it round in the summer. We are going to make a championship winning side. And I'm putting my neck on the line now. We're winning the championship this season. We're not going up through the playoffs. We're taking the title. We're going to the Premier League. And I'd love to get a cup run going as well. Thanks very much for the support. Don't forget to smash the like button. We're here every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Take care, guys.